Hi YouTubers! This is Love Bubbles Naturally and I'm coming to you with another video. I'm showing you stuff that I'm about to use because I am about to dye my hair with this. I've used this color before. It works really well on my hair. My hair comes out soft. Dyeing my hair does not damage my hair. But everyone's hair is different. So if you feel that dyeing your hair will damage your hair, please don't do it. But dyeing hair does not damage my hair. This is my friend Ashley. Hi, YouTubers. <laughs> With her gorgeous hair. This yeah. is her supplies. She uses the Trader Joe. Yes, I stand by this stuff. Um, it's amazing. Good stuff. You guys should get it. It's only three ninety nine at the store. It's fantastic. It's good for det detangling. And I always have like one of these in the sink with you so you can detangle, right? So, yeah. <laughs> so she's about to co-wash and I'm about to dye. Um, so the I'm going to co-wash after I dye and I'm going to use my Rim Pure. Um, I gave this away to my giveaway winners. This is my favorite new discovery ever since I started using this. I've shed it one-fourth the amount of hair. So my shedding has gone down. So whatever it does to recover the hand strands, it actually works. I'm going to use my detangler. This is my God Sent Detangler. I'm going to use, this is a mixture of sweet almond oil and grapeseed oil. And I'm going to use my coconut oil for an oil rinse. So this oil is going to be used for sealing. And this oil is going to be used for my oil rinse. And then depending on how I style my hair afterwards, because I don't know what I'm going to do, um, I got this for my edges. This is by Curls. I gave this away in my giveaway as well. It's just their edge control. And then this is my KN2, which is my favorite product, as you guys know. I've mentioned this in many videos. The Curl Activator, just in case I want to do a wash and go. And then, of course, of course, of course, my Shea Butter Mixture with flaxseed Gel. So I'm going to let you guys know. Well, I'm going to start coloring and mix it all together, and then I'm going to show you guys what happens. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I've separated my hair into four sections, and I clipped them up with four black clips. They're not exactly even, but who cares? All right, and I've opened the box, so everything's out, and they give you this, which is the cream developer. Sorry. This, which is the fade resistant, um, rich conditioning hair color. So that's actually the hair color. <laughs> And then they give you a moisturizer. And they say this is supposed to be used for several washes, but I used this whole bottle on the first wash. So I think that's what really makes my hair really soft is just using this whole thing. All right. And I'm just going to pour this into here and shake. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to apply it to the four sections of my hair. And I'm going to get back on after I'm done applying it because I don't want to touch my camera with dye on my hands. All right. See you guys then. Oh, hey, YouTubers. So I mixed it all together, and I poured it into this big bowl, and I have a color applying brush in there, and I basically took the mixture and mixed it up in here, and then squirted it in here, and now I'm about to apply it on one section at a time, working it through, and I can't really show you guys this because I don't have a camera mount, so... That's what it looks like. It's purple. When it's on my hair, my hair takes it. It's going to come out red. All right. See you guys the next step. So it's in my hair, the dye, and I put two plastic baggies on it. Um, you know, the shower tap, the shower caps. I put two of them on it, and then I put this t-shirt on it, and I'm probably going to take a blow dryer, and I'm just going to blow dry it because I need the heat for the hair color to go through. I'm probably going to do that for about 45 minutes to an hour, and then I'm going to check it, and then if that's not enough, I'm going to do it again for another 15 minutes and then check it. Yeah, but it's underneath a t-shirt with two plastic caps on it, so... I'll come back at the next step.
Hi YouTubers! My hair is really bad now because I took the blow dryer for a final blow dry. The dye took to the hair really, really well. Um, so what I'm about to do now is I'm actually, I actually still have the dye in my hair. So I'm about to take this and I'm about to co-wash with this. And then I'm going to detangle and coat wash with this. This co-washer is just to clear my scalp and to detangle with because it's also a good detangler. This one is really to rinse all the color out of my hair. As much of it as I can. So I'm going to use this whole tube. So that's my secret to getting my hair soft after I dye my hair to use the whole tube. So I'm going to go and rinse the dye out my hair and I'm going to show you guys how it looks after I rinse. Alright, see you then. Alright YouTubers, I've rinsed out all the dye out of my hair and this is the final result. So I'm going to turn the camera around. Alright, this is my hair. And I'm some parts are a little bit brighter red than others. That's okay because all the hair over time will fade to one color. And it will be a more natural look. Even though it doesn't look bad right now. So here we go. I'm about to moisturize, seal, and whatever I gotta do to my hair to keep it moisturized. So I'm about to do a quick oil rinse with my coconut oil. And then I'm going to put a little I guess Kianto in my hair because I'm going to do a, probably a wash and go or something. Um, and then I got my shea butter mixture and my oil for the lock method. Um, other than that, that's it. That's how I dye my hair. If you have any other questions about it, please feel free to ask. Um, thank you for watching. Much peace, love, and chicken wings.